Right, so I thought I'd do a sort of step-by-step -step sort of um, stage of building this bottom end on this RS Turbo CVH. So the block is ready for assembly. The head face has all been skimmed uh, and then the, it's been bored half mil oversized for a new pistons. We've got the ARP head studs all put in. John has um, polished the crank journals. The crank journals will measure up perfect. So we're giving it a clean, sprayed brake cleaner through all the oilway holes. Um, you know, spray a blow an airline for him, more brake and an airline sort of repeat the process basically a few times just to make sure it's properly clean. We've got our nice PC forged rods and our Wasner pistons. So we check the ring gaps and these and they all come up fine. So the first job is to put the uh, main bearings in the block um, and also we have uh, a brand new oil pump to go in as well. So should be a nice little build this. Right, so the main bearings in the block, it's worth mentioning that these bearings, uh, you've got two sort of style of bearings that come in the packet. You've got these bearings of the wallway holes and the channel and these bearings about them. So the bearings of the wallway holes and the channel has to go in the block so you can feed oil into the crank, as you can see. And obviously the plain bearings go in the caps. Uh, so we'll get some oil on these bearings uh, and then get the crank in and then we'll check the clearances with plasti gauge um, and then we'll also check the end float is fine. Right, so the clearance has been checked, all happy with that. Uh, so the next step is to get this thrush washer in. Um, so obviously there's two sides to this, or different sides, so you've got a flat side and you've got the oil grooves. Obviously the flat side goes against the block and then obviously these um, channels have to face towards the crank to allow the oil to sort of circulate. So I'll see if I can get this in with one hand, sometimes you can. Oh, that should be right. Beautiful. Right, so put this other one in here as well. That slides in. This sort of style of engines only has two thrush washers. Obviously, in the in the block, some have four, but this only has two. So um, you'll see on some of the engines, oh, a lot of new engines, that the thrush washers are built into the centre main. This is more of an old style setup I've seen, um, and obviously you don't have one on the centre main cap. So um, it's just the way it's been designed, basically. Right, so we we'll lube the main cap of bearings up. So obviously the tag on the bearing has to fit uh, the tag on that side as well. So if we do that there, and obviously we've got an arrow here pointing to the, or the front engine, and obviously you've got cap number one. So it's important to get the right cap on the right main bearing. Uh, if you don't, then uh, you'll probably find a crank won't turn properly, or crank won't turn at all. So we'll uh, get these caps on. Right, so that's the main caps all bolted down, all torqued up. Crank spins lovely by hand, which, which it should do. So I'm happy with that. Uh, these uh, bolts aren't stretched, but they have a torque setting which is two stage, so it's 45 then 90 newton meters. So we obviously always torque them down to 45 in a certain pattern, then to 90 newton meters in the same pattern again. So we've got a new oil pump which I've decided to strip or take the cover off. I've had new oil pumps before where they've had sort of uh, debris or swarf in, so I thought I'd just take this apart and double check there's nothing in here. Um, fairly simple, simple setup, um, just two gears basically. That's sit inside each other. But what I will do as well, just put a bit of oil in here as well. So when we start the engine up, it's not dry. We've got the seals and gaskets here. So that's obviously the main seal. That's the gasket that connects um, the oil pump to the pickup. And that's obviously the oil pump uh, to block seal. Right, so next step is to get this oil pump on. So the surface is all clean. Use some brake cleaner to get rid of any oil contaminants. And I've got this gasket on this oil pump here. I never put any sealant on an oil pump gasket, just in case any sealant dries and gets stuck in a pump. So let's slide this gasket on with the oil pump. There you go. Nice new bolts this oil pump as well. There we go. Right, 
So just nip these bolts up evenly. Don't get very tight. They're only yeah. sort of six mil threads. Beautiful. You're on. Right, so we've got the pistons and the rods obviously together. Now I just stuck the bearings in. It's worth noting, worth, worth noting with these bearings um, is that the bearing sits centre on the rod and the rod cap. You get some aftermarket bearings where the bearing sits over on the rod cap, on the rod, and you can have a problem sometimes with the bearing uh, runs on the radius of the crank, but these are fine. These are pretty much central. So a wrapper of these. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get these, we'll lube up the bores and the rings. We'll compress the rings in the ring compressor and we'll stick the uh, pistons in the hole and then we'll torque the main caps down, uh, rod caps down, sorry. So if I lube up this piston, see, and the skirts and the ring, always make sure the ring gaps are offset. They are fine. And then we we'll stick this in the compressor. As on the last video I made about these, put your thumb on the compressor there so you don't end up rotating the uh, compressor on the piston which can damage the rings. We we'll lube up the bore as well. Don't need very much, but just a little bit. Right, so obviously these pistons here have got cutouts for the uh, valves. Obviously the exhaust pan is smaller, so we need to make sure to put the piston in the right way. So exhaust side is this side I'm standing. So if I put this in the, uh, in the, in the hole, and I tap the uh, compressor down. Now it's just some firm sort of knocks. That one's in the hole. Right, so we'll leave up the bearing with some oil. And then Bring this up. Obviously, when you're putting pistons in, it's quite a good idea to make sure the crank journal is as far away as possible. So when you put the rod in, you don't damage the journal. It's almost one at the bottom dead centre. That's the one, mate. Yeah. There we go. That bad boy's in. So we'll load up this bearing and put a little bit of oil on the uh, journal as well. Now. It's important to make sure these um, caps go the right way. So the tag on this bearing must match the tag on that side. So make sure there's no dirt or anything in the uh, on the bearing or the, uh, the journal. So cap to cap. Right, now we've got the instructions with the rods. So we have 3 8 uh, size um, Conrad bolts, so we need to talk them to 55 foot-pounds. But we need to use this ARP lube. So we'll lube up these threads. Don't need too much. And we'll always lube up the underside of the bolt as well. that one in. Loop on this one as well. Right. Bolt is done evenly. And then we'll talk them up. Yeah. 
so 55 foot pounds. So I tried to torque these bolts up or do them up evenly, so not one really tight, one really loose. So this one, 55. Double check these. Beautiful. Um, it's always worth making sure you've got some play in the rod cap back and forth, which is what you need. Only a few thousand away, which is perfect. So that one's in. So what I'll do is I'll just spin this over in a second, just to make sure it turns fine. I'll get the rest of the rods in, um, and then we can get the oil pump pickup on and this back plate on as well. And then we might be able to drop the head on. So happy days. Right, so that's the bottom end finished. All the pistons and rods are in, uh, all talked up. Um, I have actually checked all the um, bearing clearances of plastic gauge and I'm happy with them. This back plate is on, all tightened up, only four bolts, which houses this rear main seal. The oil pump is all bolted on with the pickup pipe. Pulley is on for the belt. I'll leave the sump off for a minute. Um, one of the last things I do when I build engines is put this sump on last, just in case if you drop anything in the engine, essentially you don't have to take sump off. It's good after some practice. Uh, so I think the next step is the cylinder head over here. Um, I've installed a cam, which is a Newman fast row cam, and we've got these solid lifters, so not hydraulic anymore. So I'll set these up and we can bolt the head on, but I think we'll do this in a separate video. So for a minute, that is the CVH sort of done to a certain point. So I'm happy with that. Mint.